Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Well in this video today we're going to show you how to use fixed position elements. We've got a couple of them on this page. A little icon up here and the little countdown timer at the bottom. If I scroll down the page you will see that those stay exactly where they are. Really useful little feature. I've got this one hooked up to a little contact form really easy to do okay so let's get started I'm going to enable the visual builder and let's go down and I'm going to delete my little items here there's that icon and this one down here is an actual row and let's delete that one all right well let's start from scratch First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little icon fixed position either up here or up here or wherever you want it. That's going to take us down to our little contact form at the bottom there. And these are just examples. There's many, many things you can do here. Let's add a little module. And because we're using a fixed position, it really doesn't matter where I put it because it's not going to stay where I put it. I'll put it just below here. I'm going to use one of the new icon modules they've just added. They've just incorporated Font Awesome, so there's a lot of them here. You can do a search, you can roll down, or you can pop it out by hitting a little icon there. I'm just going to search for mail. And let's use a similar one as we used before. That'll do nicely. If I move this, there it is right there. Okay, well, let's just make it how we want it. I want to make it blue. And I'm going to make it slightly transparent. Little opacity slider on the side here. That's, that way, when it rolls over things, you'll see it slightly going behind it. And let's make it a little bit smaller as well with the icon size just below there. Something like that's going to work for me. Okay, well, this is where the fun part comes in. We need to position it, fixed positioning now. So if we pop over to our advanced tab, down to position we can select fixed we did absolute positioning in the last one and you might think well where has it gone well if we look below we've got a little matrix here it's showing it's up in the top left so it's under our nav bar up there so if I hit this one there it is right there and we can pop it on the other side if we want to but what I'll do is I'll pop it at the top and it's under here up here and we can vertically offset it you see it coming down there and I'll pull it away from the side slightly you can either increment use the slider use the little things to fine-tune that'll work for me right there great and what I actually want this button to do is a link to this contact form down below let's just save this so what I've got to do is put a CSS ID into my section here. I've got one already, but let's put a new one in there to show you how it's done. I'm going to hit the cog. I'm going to go over to advanced CSS IDs and classes. And we'll give it a C CSS ID of say contact. It doesn't matter what it is. It's a good idea that, that it means something to you. And it's got to be unique. You only want one of these on the page or even the site because it will confuse it, especially if you're linking to different pages. So let's save that now. We know that's got the ID of contact. We'll go back into our little module here and for the link down below we can put hashtag because all CSS IDs have to have a hashtag in front of them and then the word contact which was our CSS ID name. Great. So as you can see that's going to stay in front of all our other content. It's going to stay right there as we're scrolling up and down the page. That's fine. Well, let's do something else. Let's perhaps add a little row at the bottom with a countdown timer to a sale or something like that. So again, what I'm going to do, I'll go down to the bottom here. Let's add a new row. Green button to add a new row. And let's find a countdown timer. There it is. Set it to the date you want. I'll say a week from now, perhaps. You can set the hours and minutes below. It goes from zero to 
to 23. So let's say at 8 a.m. And you can set the minutes down below, obviously from zero to 59. So let's say 8 a.m. That does me fine. Okay, not sure about that background color. Let's give it a blue or something like that. Great. I want to tighten it up. I don't want it quite as big as that. So I'm going to hit the little pencil icon that will go to our little numbers here. I'm going to make them a little smaller. There we go, something like that. I'm going to take the line height down, which will squeeze everything together a bit more as well. That's fine. So when you're happy, just save that. And of course, if I go back in there, you can give it a title. Whatever you want yours to say. Whatever you want yours to say, obviously. And you can link it to wherever you want with the link below to your sales page or where, wherever you want to take your visitors. Okay, well, let's leave that there. Now let's make this whole row fixed position. So I'm going to go into the green tab. Can go over to advanced again, position, and fixed. And again, it's popped it up under the top there, but that's fine. I want it in the bottom, in the middle. There we go. I want it right at the bottom of my browser. So let's take the vertical offset down a little bit, pop it down to where you want it. That's absolutely fine. And let's just make sure it's going to stay on top of everything. Yep, that everything's going underneath. Oh, those are coming up. Those are going on top there, I should say. So is that. So that's what our Z index is for here. If I roll the Z index of this row up. There we go. We're now going on top of those elements. Fantastic. If you have a problem with that, make sure the elements that are rolling on top of it have a lower Z index than the one that you want to stay on top. And there you'll find that all in the advanced and position like we've got here. So that should fix that little problem. Looks like we're good to go. Okay, let's just save our changes now. And we'll exit the Visual Builder. Okay, well, we've got our little countdown timer with our sale at the bottom. It's staying there. And as you can see, it's got a little hand icon so we can click on it. And there's our little mail icon or contact us. If we click on that, it should take us down to our contact us section. Fantastic. It's working absolutely perfectly. So there is how to add some fixed position elements to your Divi site. I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.